A new report reveals an unsafe and dangerous environment for Navy SEAL recruits, stemming from the death of a trainee after the so-called Hell Week. The nearly 200-page investigation details the grueling course that 24-year-old Kyle Mullen successfully finished before he died last year. And I said, Kyle, are you okay? Are you hurt? Are you in a hospital? And he just responded, don't worry, Mom. I'm good. I love you. And he hung up. In the report, instructors were described as enforcers, hunting the back of the pack to weed out weaker candidates and push the demands of the course to the far end of the acceptable spectrum. The report also found medical staff were poorly organized, poorly integrated, and poorly led, and put candidates at significant risk. After days of being ill, yet still training, Mullen was found to have died of pneumonia. And with no misconduct found on Kyle's part, he was deemed to have died in the line of duty. This investigation shows that Seaman Mullen was not at fault. They found no performance-enhancing drugs in his system. He did nothing wrong. But the Navy's report found that some recruits were pushed to use performance enhancing drugs to cope with the program's requirements. Despite a drop in graduation rate, the program's commander refused to adjust it, telling leaders zero is an okay number, hold the standard. Naval Special Warfare Command has already implemented improvements to its training programs, including greater instructor oversight and training, updated medical policies, and expanded authority to test for performance enhancing drugs. Two top Navy officers who headed the program were pulled from their jobs two weeks ago, and a number of personnel have been referred to Navy legal authorities for potential punishment. The results of this investigation will now be turned over to the Navy's legal command. Punishment for those Navy personnel could range from non-judicial punishment to court action. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York.